welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. Today's episode is episode number 301. And before we get into that, I have three birthdays for this week, starting with Friday, April 24th, James Mike Sprayberry, former lieutenant colonel of the U.S. Army, turned 73 years old. And yesterday, on the 25th of April, Brian Thacker turned 75 years old. And today, which I think this is the first time we've had a birthday on an episode, today, former Private First Class from the Korean War, Robert Simonek, turned 89. So a very happy birthday to all of those Medal of Honor recipients that are uh, celebrating birthdays Friday, Saturday, and today. Very happy birthday to you all. And now we're going to move right into episode number 301, Back to World War I. Francis, known as Frank, was born in Providence, Rhode Island on the 30th of April, 1892. He joined the U.S. Navy in 1917 and was a chief machinist's mate when he was stationed at Naval Air Station Pensacola in 1918. It was Frank's actions here that would earn him the Navy Cross, which was later upgraded to the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For extraordinary heroism while attached to the Naval Air Station, Pensacola, Florida, on 25 September 1918, while flying with Ensign J.A. Jova, Ormsby saw a plane go into a tailspin and crash about three-quarters of a mile to the right. Having landed nearby, Ormsby lost no time in going overboard and made for the wreck, which was all underwater except the two wing tips. He succeeded in partially extricating the gunner so that his head was out of the water and held him in this position until the speedboat arrived. Ormsby then made a number of desperate attempts to rescue the pilot, diving into the midst of the tangled wreckage, although cut about the hands, but was too late to save his life. Frank remained in the Navy after the war and went on to earn his aviation wings two years later. After 12 years of service, he left the Navy and went on to fly airmail in Central America and was known for flying the world's longest airmail route at the time, Miami, Florida, to Santiago, Chile. Frank became the assistant manager of the 1st Air Navigation Division for the Bureau of Air Commerce in 1935 and also was a patrol pilot and inspector. On the 24th of October, 1936, he was flying alone in overcast conditions and when he attempted to land in order to wait for the bad conditions to clear, he crashed into a mountain near Woodford, Oklahoma. Francis Edward Ormsby Jr. was 44 when he died and his body was found the following day. He is buried with his brother Harry and their mother Sarah in the St. Francis Cemetery in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, Section 45, Lot 225. And that was a Tale of Honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrosch. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.